As you've been watching me build this, uh, my primary things that I've been using is a ratchet with a high quality 530 seconds bit and an impact with a high quality 530 seconds bit. And if you have spare material at your house, uh, take a simple six inch piece of uh, aluminum or any angle. This aids in making things a lot straighter. So this is a six inch piece for a 10 inch uh, total dimension. Just a tip. For the next step, which will be uh, section three or video number three, you'll take your frame and flip it on over. And I like to build the frame on top of this frame. Okay, so for the uh, top frame building section, which is uh, video number three, um, I like to set the hinges at six and ten. So basically six inches, ten inches, same from the other side. And you can either uh, clear your table and build your top frame on your table, or you can build your top frame on your lower frame. And this is your overview of your top frame. It shows you all the T-nuts and where they go. So basically you have four short bars and two long bars. Um, go ahead and set up your components. So basically designate two of these to be your center bars. Designate one to be your back bar and one to be your front bar. So in the center bars, I'm gonna add these. And for the long bars, I'm going to take one of these. So I'll start with this. Uh, these are your long bars and the section with the 90 degrees will be your inside and on the outside or opposite edge. And all this little raised edge always goes towards the outside. So this is going to be the back bar where the hinges are. So it'll take seven as well. These are going to be the hang the uh, tent. And the opposite side. Yeah, the long section is bar. You basically have uh, five, two, five, two, five. This is going to be the outer side. Take one of your pre-assembled corners. And all four this way. This is your outside. So this is your outside corner. Set up all four corners like that. So your two long assemblies. And these are your center posts. Now a rear and a front. And as you feed this through, so you need a T-nut in here between the hinges. Put it in now. Basically, it fits very tightly, but it will eventually put those right on the edge there. One T nut between the hinges, slide the bar through. One more. Which basically gives you one, two, three between the hinges to attach your top cover. Now when you set up this bar, make sure they line up perfectly there. Then go ahead and tighten that. Make sure you put the bit all the way into the screw or else you'll end up stripping the fastener. Okay, so now take your reassembled long sections. I like to loosely assemble the frame before you tighten these. That way it stays square on you. So, like 
that. This is a tip, but basically if you use a little space in here, it lines things up a little better. Since my table's a bit small for this, I'm gonna use this clamp to keep things in place so they don't come falling on the ground. Assemble the entire upper frame and then tighten the bolts. Just some tension on there just to keep everything while we set everything up. So this will be the opening side of the tent and this bar will have five. We'll need an additional two for the pull down strap. So seven total. And six on the opposite side to hang the tent. Once you have all four assemblies, then uh, we'll square everything up. Well, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, tighten all the corners. Make sure to keep everything as, uh, as tight as you can. And a square to the bottom frame. That keeps the top frame square. So if you're assembling a uh, PMT or a large PMT, these are going to be at different distances. Okay, for your crossbar measurements, whether you're assembling a large PMT, high capacity, or a standard capacity PMT, uh, just refer back to the instructions. They are different, uh, the belt positions, and crossbars. Now, before you put your struts on, you'll want to have your closing strap so that you can pull it down. Um, these just go... Utilize the two outermost uh, T-nuts. This belt just goes on the outer T-nut. Like that. That's it. So when building your uh, high capacity PMT, eight um, T-nuts on the side. And you'll, when you open up your struts, Want to make sure that the ends are tight. When mounting your struts to your tent frame, you will have three T-nuts to the front side of the strut or the opening side, the strut mounting, and four after the strut. Three on the bottom side of the strut. Strut, the marker goes here. Uh, I've already uh, pre-measured my uh, strut positions according to the instructions and then made a small mark there with markers so that you don't have to be measuring. So when you get to this position or to this part, you basically have both of your struts attached on the upper frame. If you have somebody to help you out, it's much easier. If not, this is how you do it yourself. Get the positions are pre marked. Set up the front side. All right, I'll see you guys for video number four, uh, the top cover mounting, and that'll cover PMT and PMT high capacity.